Good morning, welcome to the update from the bunker on Wednesday the 29th of April, nearly the end of the month now, we've survived the month, all is good, and uh, again, uh, rained here overnight, beautiful blue sky sunshine this morning, whole place looks really fresh, and uh, it looks really ple really pleasant down here, so I hope you're having a great day, and we've found out now over here in France that the restrictions will start to be lifted from, I think it's the 7th and the 11th of May, so another sort of week away, couple of weeks away, not 100%, but travel restrictions are going to be relaxed, schools are going to start to reopen, businesses can reopen, and we can start to get things back to some sort of normality, at least the, a new version of normal. And uh, it still means we're going to have to wear masks, we've got a social distance, and that's going to stay in place for quite some time, I think, but some good news coming through. So if, uh, if for France, Luxembourg, Germany, where uh, we're based and our clients are based, very encouraging news. And I think for the UK as well, probably maybe a week or two behind us, if you like, but I think there's some good news to come over there as well. I saw the uh, the bounce back scheme being launched in the UK, which is gr a great initiative. So uh, some good news, some positive news coming through now as well. And uh, one of the things that I've uh, observed uh, throughout this is the way that people have treated other people. And I think this crisis has brought out the very best in people and uh, sometimes brought out the very worst in them as well. And speaking with clients and from personal experience, it's an opportunity now when we're coming out of the, the bunker and starting to grow again to attract more clients, new business and look for other opportunities, which is absolutely fine. One of the, 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 the mistakes that people make, and I made it, I've made it several times as well, is when you're in business, you tend to you, you go for clients and customers where the only qualification criteria is have they got a, a credit card and have they got a pulse and then they're in, away you go. And when you're starting out in business, it's very tempting to do that because you've got to pay the rent, you've got to pay the mortgage. So you tend to grab whatever you can when you start out. At some point, everybody goes through this is where they realize that some of the clients they've attracted don't fit. Not that they're bad people, but they don't fit with the team. They don't fit with the company. They don't fit with you. They don't fit with the organization. So the opportunity we have now, as we're able to start looking to grow and develop and trade through properly, is to attract new clients. But don't just look for clients and customers that are got money and want to work with you. Check on their personalities. Look at them as individuals in the round. Do you like them? Do you trust them? Are they people you want to have in your client customer group? If you've got a martial arts academy and you bring somebody into your academy that doesn't fit within the group, they can be really toxic to the, the rest of the people, the rest of the students in the, in the class, for example. Um, we find the same in maybe workshops where we bring people together and it's clear when somebody doesn't fit because they just don't fit with us and everybody else in the team. And uh, if you, you met, if you met, which you maybe come to our workshops, you would, you meet our clients and, and I'm convinced we have the very best clients in the world and uh, a big shout out to all of them because they've, they've hung in there, they've stayed with us and they're doing great things in tough times and they have that resilience of character. So guys, uh, thank you for that. But if you met the clients, you'd see they're all very similar because they reflect us and we reflect them. There's a similarity there. So we work with people that we are like, a similarity in terms of beliefs, attitudes, mindsets. And if you do that, if you bring people into your business that are similar to you in terms of values and belief and personality, then they're going to stay with you. They'll work with you well. They're going to like you, make the journey more fun. And if you think about it, um, the clients you've got on your on your books now, you've probably got some that you don't really enjoy working with. And what's the reason for it? It's not because their money's no good. It's because they don't play nice or they don't treat you well or they don't talk to you nicely or whatever it is. Well, then don't let them back in again. And that may just like be a slight sort of... Um, uh, limitation on growth to a certain extent, but I would prefer to have a steadily growing business with people I like and know and trust working with them. I enjoy the ride. Yes, we work hard and they work hard. I prefer to limit my growth a little bit, but work with people that I like, know and trust rather than go for fast growth and have people I don't really like hanging around with. And that's just a personal thing, but maybe for you know for you guys as well, be, be careful who you allow in. Use a bit of scarcity maybe in your marketing, don't allow everybody in. They need to qualify to work with you. And um, something we do, we, we profile all our clients when they first start with us. We do a DISC personality profile. And uh, everybody's watching this. We, we, we do it from a, from a coaching perspective because it helps me understand their modalities and their personality. But also it's a filter. It lets us know what are they really like. And when I look at the personalities of the people we work with and we do well with, 
they fit not they're not all exactly the same but there's a sort of a common thread a common pattern of of experience knowledge and personality as well so we're quite careful who we uh, who we attract and who we let in so you should do the same because when the pressure's on good people stay with you good people respect you they work with you and they may challenge you a few times but that's all very good but they will you know work with you in the way that you want to work with them so as we come to this upturn or the the uplift or the bounce back as it's called in the uk Yes, you want to grow your business, but be selective about who you put in there. And, and, and the way to do that in terms of marketing is put your personality out there. Put your personality online, on LinkedIn, on video, because people who don't respect and like your personality won't contact you. Those who do will. That's a very simple filter. Don't just market your company, market you, your brand, your style, your family, and your background, whatever it is. And uh, you'll attract people that resonate with that, and they're much more likely to be the people you want to have in the uh, in the client in the client team. So there we go. We are seeing some green shoots, which is all very good, all very exciting, and uh, are going to happen in the UK as well. So reasonably good news, positive stuff coming through. So I hope that's been helpful. When you're looking for new clients, be selective. You know, you don't have to just take anybody. Uh, Tempting as it may be, it's been a tough couple of months for a lot of businesses out there. Uh, Tempting to grab the cash. I'd hesitate to do that, market properly, attract the right clients and keep them in the long term. So that was a quick update from the bunker here in the Moselle Valley and uh, I will speak with you uh, tomorrow on Thursday. Stay safe, stay away from people and uh, bye for now.